Hey guys, it's Super Speedy Car here, and welcome back to Cavern Up Trials. Um, you may be wondering why my inventory's changed a little bit. Well, it's quite a funny story. Um, I started recording, and it glitched up a little bit for some reason. And I fell into that thing. Yeah, that's pretty embarrassing. That lava pit right there. So I had to, you know, with a bit of cheats, I had to spawn in my stuff, spawn the basic tools and equipment. As you can see, I use the help of too many items. But I really hope you guys, you know, don't mind. I had to get back to my spawn point. There's really nothing changed to so it. As you recall, last time we just got off flint and steel, and now we don't have to make it safely back, which we'll do just now. So let's do the easy jumps here. Alright. Now, one thing I will say that's quite important to note um, the flint and steel tool, it, you can't use it very much. You have to use it once or twice on each of these. You can't just spam it around because too much usage will cause it to die. As in die, I mean like lose durability and break. Um, obviously, it can't die because it's uh, inanimate. I can't say it. The thing that begins with I, object, inanimate object. I think yeah, that's the word. So yeah, but obviously you shouldn't use it too much. You can a uh, helpful thing if your brightness is like mine really bad. Just you know, they can light your way a little bit maybe. See where you're going. You have to go up these vines. So we're making our way up to the surface. Hopefully in this video we'll actually finish the map, and yeah, that'll be good. Now I'm quite proud of the map to be honest. It was a more than it was a lot better than I would have thought. Like when I was creating it, it was only meant to be a little test, but you know it's quite a lengthy map. I'm not sure if I'm gonna add on to it. I think if I want to kind of do more complex puzzles, a map similar to this but more complex. You know what I mean? Maybe some more you know redstone time puzzles. Because this map's all basic, to be honest. I mean, it's good. Yeah, sure. And it was a good experiment. I think it was very successful. However, you know, I want to... I wanna, that, that can be my starting area, and I want to just move on from that. You know, make more advanced stuff. I think that'll happen. I'm going to take a break from mapping, though, because I have mapped recently, and you just don't enjoy it like you did when I was making this map, just because you, you do it so much... And it becomes a town where it's like it's like a job pretty much. I think that's like everything to be honest. Similar with um, footballers or or soccer players, I guess in America or any other country. Um, you know, it's a fun sport, but when you get into a job, it becomes stressful. You know, moving around different countries. I don't know where I'm going with this to be honest. There's nothing really much to talk about here doing these parkour puzzles. Alright, so we're back to the chest, this um, fast this fast track area. Okay, now we take the car. A nice enjoyable ride. Back to the Caves of Hidden Secrets. I think I may have just said it right for once. <laughs> That's good. Uh, yeah, and if you recall correctly from the first episode, we um, saw that the leaves blocking the, um, that passage here. Which is definitely going to be our next destination we need to be going to. And that's this way. We'd have to go up. It always seems when I get here, it's always night. I swear, guys. There's no hacks going on. Obviously, besides the part where I have to cheat to, to get all my stuff. But I don't really feel like redoing the entire match because of a simple mistake. Honestly. I hope you guys can forgive me. Yeah, another thing is, a lot of people don't realise, just because it, you need a place to the burn, I mean you have to literally burn it all the time, you can just destroy it, like, you can't, that's impossible to do, I didn't think about that. Another problem, I remember someone that tested it, he, um, he set fire to the leaves, and because this area is made of dark wood, or, or the jungle wood, um, it just set fire to it, it was pretty hilarious, but, so that's, speaking of dark wood, it's the cave of dark bark, the next area. Quite a small area, to be honest. I'm not going to lie, towards this part of the map, I kind of got a little bit lazy with design and it's quite hard work. But the the way you need to do this is there a paint, there's obviously a paint that needs to be shot down there. And this is quite a little secret area here. And it's here, I mean you can, if, oh crap, I almost just fell. You can actually see a switch, you hit the switch and now what that does is put that tile right there to come outwards. And that gives you the way up, however there's no actual way to get in yet to the iron door. So what you need to do is a little secret dispenser here, dispenser is a ender pearl and use the ender pearl to do this. 
Okay, that's a little bit, a little bit laggy there. I don't know what happened. Let's go ahead and cheat, guys. I'm sorry. You know, but there is a few little um, troubles with the map, such as that, minor troubles. That really can't be sorted out as far as I know, anyway. I'm not the best at that kind of stuff, so. How you guys understand that? I didn't really want to restart the entire map just because of that stupid mistake on my part. But yeah, I'm sure you don't mind. I'm doing it again. I'm just being too polite. You know, guys, I'm sorry I'm being too... I just be polite. I, I don't even intend to. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. You know what? Screw it. Anyway, so we, so we meet this room here, and that obviously... We get the arrow, which is for the painting. That's a pretty easy room, if you ask me. I, I mean, I know a lot of people, it's quite difficult to know what order you have to do things at. And now that obviously dispenses another item. It's quite hard to see, actually. If you look in the water, you can actually see a lever. Now, if you recall correctly from the Lost Pumpkin Cavern, there actually is a iron door that wasn't accessible last time we saw. However, with this lever, you know, we could maybe escape, or maybe, you know, you never know. So let's go back there. It's only a bit. Um, I obviously know the man. I'm just doing it for like adventure purposes. <laughs> but yeah, so let's let's ascend here and spring down the tunnel. Hopefully, that's through this easy jump. And yeah, now we can move on to the next area. The final area, spoilers. And yeah. And I just fell the jump. Wow. <laughs> Sorry guys, I did it again. I'm being way too polite. But don't worry guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna complete this map. You get you guys just sit there and just watch me. You guys can play this map. I'll put the um if I remember that is I'm not very good at that. I'll put the link into the description so you guys can play this for yourself. I mean, if you probably watch this, the chances are you probably don't want to watch it all. You don't want to play it yourself, to be honest, if you watch it. I mean, you know the puzzles and stuff, but you never know, it's cool. Uh, the Tunnel of Freedom, our final area. It's very similar to the, the Lost Pumpkin Cavern. And we need to, you know, a little parkour here. It's very easy area, it's just the final final leaf of freedom and now we just have to set this on fire you can see there's some water up there you just burn the area and the water tips into the lava causes the obsidian to form and create a nice and slightly sketchy bridge across the other side so we need to wait patiently you see that like every block besides the water one is burning it's quite hilarious but let's just let's just be a bit patient here no rush um Okay, come on. This is insane. Let's see if I can light it a bit here. Okay, there we go. And that creates obsidian. And I have a, a way across. And now, the stretch of freedom just need to just follow this area to follow the glowstone out of this, out of this strange cave. And see what we find. Oh. Screwing on the final area, not even the parkour area. Anyway, so you get out of here, and you guys have completed the map. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, as I said, this is just this map was basically just for um, testing my redstone capabilities and experimenting a little bit. But overall, I think it's quite a decent map, honestly. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all later. So this was a short video, but you know what, guys? See you in I don't know I'll see you guys later I don't know what I was doing with that um, later guys